everybody welcome back back to official series time see open here week 13 and i think it's hecto could consider like week 28 or something uh kansas gonna go out for qualifying gonna see what we can do not a crazy strong field um a bit weaker than i wanted i was hoping it would be a little bit stronger for time slot just kind of how my day has worked out for when i got to run this but we'll still make the most of it there's still some pretty quick guys some pretty competitive people that should be a really good test to see how I can stack up against them Let's see if we can get both laps in although the first one's the one to make it count that's typically faster for me in qualifying looks like we're likely only gonna get the first one in so we got to run to the line we have to turn the spotter off I racing when I get back into it Jumped quickly out of a practice session and into here, so. The truck's going to be a bit loose in qualifying compared to what the race setup is. It's just about hanging on and trying to go as quick as possible. Tend to take a little bit of a higher line through three and four. Had a lift to try to keep it from stepping out. Cost myself a bit of momentum, but still gained a bit more. Across the line. Grab a 781. She's good enough for third right now. We'll see if we can try to somehow get this second lap done. Looks like so far second lap faster, so probably should have gotten out on the track a little bit sooner, but no big deal. Throw it in. We know we're good for about 700s or so. See if we get across the line, just short across the line. Um, yeah, it wouldn't have, it would have gained us maybe third, so not a big deal overall. I'll, I'll take it. Um, you know, good qualifying effort. We got a good field of 31, I believe, looks like. Um, so, car, truck number 10, like I said, it's, it's a pretty weak field. We've got some, I, I'm guessing it's two splits, maybe, maybe three. If it's three splits, then the other splits are really weak, but, um, yeah, we'll take it. We'll get switched over to the race setup. I am going to run... I had been playing around with tape. Uh, I ran a lot warmer of a practice session than this, so I think tape-wise I should probably be okay. We'll uh, get paints refreshed and then we'll get gridded up. 80 laps. Um, reasonably, it's going to be, without caution, it's probably a two-stop race. I think with the race setup, I'm good to go about. Uh, maybe it might be a one. I think I'm somewhere probably around like 36 to 40 laps, 41 laps, something. We'll have to check the check the Iris and fuel calculator. I find it's generally somewhat accurate. So we'll jump into the truck. Um, it's showing 46, so we we'll might be able to make it. Before the race is over. If I can, I'm actually going to jump out to turn the spotter off. Sorry about that. I hate, hate dealing with that. All right, we should be good to go there. But 80 laps should be fun. Hopefully everybody's going to take this seriously, not treat this like the street stock race was or the Delara Dash race was. Hoping everybody's going to understand that this does actually affect safety rating and I rating so hopefully people are going to be somewhat reasonable on it. It's going to be a bit of an experiment to see how the line changes as the run goes. If we are actually able to get long green flag runs in, which I'm really hoping we are, it'd be great if we could only have like a caution or two. Just happen to see how that part goes. Like I said, we'll see what we can get in the way of uh, fuel savings. If we can make it on one stop and it's you know not going to be cutting it really close, then it might be worth it. We'll just see what the lap fall off is. I know if I wanted to do two stops, if it were to stay green all the way, we'd be looking at you know lap 20 coming in on 27 or so. So just have to evaluate how that goes and uh, just kind of see as the race goes on what it's looking like. Although again, we could 
could get a few cautions that could just end up taking green flag strategy out the window as well. Some last minute heat in the tires. We're gonna have a second gear. I believe we've got three sets, so three sets would make it, you know, 20 laps to run get ready. on tires. Off and rolling. Seven's gonna go. Three's already gonna jump to the apron. Got the 18 to our inside still. Four is going to try to duck low as well. It's going to go back high. The being wide open, at least to start the uh, the bottom is the way to go. So the 18 just getting the start on the inside line was able to get, get by us. Truck's going to get looser in the air. And when I practice it alone, and just like that, you see the wreck happen behind. We'll see if we get a caution. And we do. So, couldn't even get a lap completed before people wrecked, which that's that dirty error that he was going to affect how it goes over the spoiler. Turn the chat down a little bit. So yeah, pretty quick, uh, pretty quick caution. Might actually play into fuel strategy a little bit if we wanted to go 40 first run. But I guess it did all that tire warming for no reason when we just end up having a caution, so. Hopefully this is not going to be a sign of how it's going to go. If you restart in the same spot, everything is going to be exactly the same because we were able to get in front of the four, so... It's really like we did nothing different. At least we're having a quicker caution. Five got affected by that. Just looked back going in, you know, we we had the lift going into turn three a little bit to kind of to save it since it was a little bit loose, kind of caught that, and then... You saw everybody else just start to start to go around. So fuel saving goes up, obviously. That's not an accurate number. Like I said, we'll just kind of keep an eye on both the lap time fall off and then take a look at where we're at somewhere around, you know, lap 20 to 22. Assuming we don't have a more cautions. Hopefully if I can run this race clean, see if I can stay off of everybody, not get a zero X out of or get a zero X out of it. I think we should actually be able to get enough safety rating to uh, to get up above 4.0 and license up right away. Not have to. I mean, I at 3.6 something or whatever it came in 3.7. I wasn't worried about not making it out of uh, out a week. 13 with above a 3.0 to get to an A for. Season 4, because what it allows me to do is if it's a week that I can't run the uh, NIS times, I can still run next gens at, in the A series if I wanted to. But um, yeah, I think if we can keep it clean here, that'll give us a good boost and the week goes to a decent spot. I'd like to get to A after this one, and then the plan is to run B open as well as NIS fixed. If I can keep it clean in both of those, then we could start off. Season 4 with a pretty good A license, uh, you know, get up into like the 3.0 range or mid 3, something like that. And, uh, you know, even if we can finish top 10, I uh, should still be able to gain a little bit of I rating out of this top 5 would be good, but last time I, you know, went for something like that, it obviously didn't work out quite as well as I wanted at Darlington, but we'll see what we could do. It's just all about momentum and, and trying to bleed off as little speed as possible in this. And I am still trying to learn how to do that, as well as navigate the dirty air. Get ready to go here. Watch for the three to have to drop back. So well, he's not quite in front of him. See if the four and the 14 are going to be able to get a better jump. Outside line is just so hard to start. Four does clear me this time. 14 still on our inside as well. 
He's going to have to work the outside. We're probably going to drop back. Another spot, B6. Big gap behind. 14 drops back. Going to work the second lane just to let the four by. All right. Just going to keep an eye on the temps. I think unless somebody's going crazy aggressive, we're just going to stay above the apron. Big thing is, just like I said, I think that with it being a lot cooler, the tape should be fine, but we'll be keeping an eye on the water temp here in traffic. Make any adjustments on the first pit stop if I have to. Just want to try to keep the track position. This city is going to be so tough to pass. Looks like everybody's going down the apron, so we'll get on there. 23 starting to catch back up. 14's just going to dive underneath us. Try to get the run off of two. She's still our inside. So he'll have the advantage going into three. Let's try to work this up. Looks like a couple. Couple trucks ahead, starting to run a little bit higher. 18's up a little bit higher. Uh, water temps kind of scaring me a bit higher than I wanted. 14's getting a really big run on the four. 23 starting to close back up. Running here behind people is not going to help with that. 14 by. Big deal. Back to sixth. Take it. Where he was able to get around the seven. So we'll be able to get the water temp to cool down a little bit. It's definitely running a bit higher than I want. Tape, make the adjustment. Try to take it down to 55 to start. Lift for the four. The next car is better by. Work by him. 23 is also up here. Then a big gap back to the 16. On a second back to the 16. Lifting just to kind of try to help with the water temp a little bit and we get a caution so we might be able to do this on one stop at this rate I don't want to come in yet so we're not in the window where I could make it on one stop well, uh, yeah I guess we could I don't, I don't think it's worth Alright Jake, your water and your oil are both looking pretty hot right now. Try and take it easy. We'll get the uh, the water to cool down here. Actually, we'll shut the engine off to help it a little bit more. And we'll get it fired back up. Looks like the three's headed on the pit road, the four behind's gonna go to pit road. Like I said, I, they're, they're going to have to do one more stop, so it's a matter of when do you want to take the tires. I feel like this is kind of like the cold one at Darlington. It's like about half the field is stayed out, maybe a little less than half. So we'll see. I, I feel like at this point, since I didn't pit, I just need to commit to staying out, work the track position. Unfortunately, it's going to put us starting on the outside again. 17 is going to get lapped back. Okay, Jake. <laughs> We've only got 22 trucks. Only 22 out of the 30 some that were in the session on the lead lap. So, that's pretty rough. Yes. The first wreck and that one have taken that many out. So, if we can, we'll try to. Appreciate it. If it goes green, we'll pit around lap 40. Just. Finish it off that way. Yeah, so I think with these caution laps, we should be able to make that. So then the question will be, 
Whether or not we can go the rest of the way, maybe we try to go a little bit longer. We'll have we'll to see what the water temp's like. I don't want to go too low on the tape, but I might actually go a little bit lower. I don't want to go too far under and then lose that down force and sailing off the front end, but I do not want to be end of the race having to pit or lift because my temps were way too high. So we go. It's closed. Technically, we're supposed to be able to go to lap 70 on the field, which is not going to be the case, obviously. Sagan? So what, what, set, uh, what set of company are you using that you build your own? But yeah, two cautions, relatively quick. Unfortunately, it seems like it's going to be the tone for how this race is going to go. Hopefully, we can weed out some people, we endure some longer green flag runs. The last, basically, three quarters of the race. 14 was aggressive, 4 kind of backed off, 23 was catching, the 16 was pretty far back. I did not honestly see what caused that big, big gap on that last restart. I don't think it's a pace thing, but it could be. We'll just see how it goes. I don't really want to see the water temp much above 240 if I can avoid it. I get the one to go this time by. So, we'll begin going back green on lap 15. Everybody's gonna have to make at least one more stop, no matter what. Let's see how that plays itself out, and you know, we all decide to come in. It's, it's hard to believe I'm going to get much more than 42 laps if we were to go green all the way, and I'd hate to come in and then be stuck knowing that I still have to make one more stop and be at a, a, an extra stop behind everybody, but we'll see what we can do. Kind of watch lap times. Got, uh, we're gonna pull up session best just so I can see what the fall off is to make that determination. But get ready to go. Seven's gonna have control of the race again. Restart. It's the three pitted. It's in second. Get ready for the restart. Team. Let's back off. Seven's off and rolling. Eighteen did not get a very good restart. Trying to make it three wide. Fourteen gets in front of us, trying to clear the eighteen. Like I said he just did not have a good restart at all. And at least if a caution comes out, it puts us third now. like back behind the gap kind of forms again we'll see I know the three and the four both pitted to see how quickly that that forms or how quickly they get up through the field Lap times haven't really fallen off a ton, but again, we've I got really to run very many green flag laps either. It's not a lot of opportunity for the tire wear. 23's working pretty aggressive. Clear the 18 on the inside. I think I'm taking a bit of a wider entry into the corner, which is allowing people to look to my inside. I got a Push off a of two, 23 almost looked to the inside, off a of two. Hard to find that arc to keep the momentum up, save the right front, but also kind of defend that inside. 714, trying to check out a little bit. Really gaining a lot of time on the entry into one. 
feel like there's some guys maybe pushing it a bit harder than I am here. At the start of the run. Just trying to be there at the end. It's a long race. 80 laps in these trucks is going to feel like a while. Water's getting back to the higher level. You have to duck out for some fresh air. Just got to keep an eye on it. Lap 20. Teamed. Strikes the wall going into one. There's the oil temp getting hot, so we're going to have to be careful now. Try to find some cleaner air, maybe let the 23 by. Thought I'd be okay with the tape level, but still trying to learn that and you know what the balance is for what I can do. Stay high, let some people go, just to get that clean air over the nose. See, it's definitely helping. Drop pack probably close to the back end of the top ten, but it'll be okay. Four and three are working their way up. Alright, so we're going to drop back to eighth. No big deal, like I said. Try to fix it the next run. Definitely take away some of the downforce on the front end. Truck won't want to handle quite as well. Big run on the 15. He's gonna get a run on us. Go back to up here just to keep some more fresh air over the nose. Three's to our inside, one's gonna likely look to our inside. Base is definitely up there. Bit of a gap back to the 28th, back to 10th. Made the wrong call with the tape. Lessons learned. I think if I didn't have to worry about it, I can run a little bit harder. The team seems to be a bit slower. If I could push my pace, I think we could be probably a 7th or 8th place truck. Like some guys starting to work the outside. Got battle for the lead up front between the fourteen and the seven. Three's trying to chase him down. It's actually the four. Four's made his way all the way up to third, so. I keep working the inside here. It seems like four trucks are migrating towards the middle and the top, so keeps a little bit of fresh air over the nose. We've got a nice gap back to 28, so. In a fairly comfortable spot here. I go back up. 
percent on the tape. Back down to the bottom. Trying to pass the three, just keep it somewhere. Sixteen seems to be a bit slower, falling off a little bit. Outside of him. That's so one. Trying to keep fresh air over the truck. I don't mind trying to pick up a spot or two if we can. Coming up low side. Attempts seem to be. Still there. Come down a little bit, so. Feel comfortable Still trying to get by the 16. Time, low side. Clear low. 18, 15 both going high. Threes following down low. 23 up was pushing originally falling back so keep working the bottom here Let's see if we can pick up another spot at least we're getting green flag laps in now this will be by far our longest run. Three loses it. Goes down the track. We're gonna have to watch for him. We've got a lap truck up here, 17. Slow on the inside. Might set a pick with the three. Three made it three wide to get by him. Three is gonna defend the inside. Choose to go below him. Three gets a little loose behind. Trying to get to the outside of the 23 now. See if we can get by him in three and four. He's definitely getting a little bit tighter. I'm kind of leaning on the right front a bit too much. Clear to 23 though. Lost a little bit of time to the 15 and the 18 trying to get by the 23. But puts us back to seventh at least. Back to the bottom. Let's see how this run's gonna go. If it's gonna stay spread out, then we might be able to get away with not as big of a tape adjustment we're gonna get a caution then I'll have to make a bigger one at this point if we get a caution I'm probably gonna come in three's broken away from the 23 23 is falling back quite a bit and we're still sitting about a second behind the 15 and the 18 so keep an eye on that it's kind of spread apart Got a battle for the lead, third separated, and you got the battle for fifth and sixth. We get some slower lap traffic as well. Definitely starting to feel the right front go away. I'm overdriving the entry. Leaning too much on the right front. Half a second back to the three. Still keep it about even. The 15 and the 18 up ahead. 31's going to be slow up ahead. Top might be the way to go. This time I will have about 16 laps, 17 laps left in the tank. So we get to somewhere around 52, 51 to 52. Might try the top side, because we lost a tenth to the 15, kept even with the 3. As I say that, the 3 goes up high. Truck gets really loose there up on the top side. Just gotta learn. The lifting point up here. try it one more time. It's a bit slower this time, but give it a little 
one more shot and see what we can do. Keep it together, hold your line. They're on the inside. Our low. Inside's clear. Just a little loose there. We got one went way down the track, I'm flying back up. I'm sure that was scary for the guys up front. I think I still like that bottom a little better. It just seems to be a little bit faster for me right now. I'm just losing time to the 15 and the 18. Keeping even with the 3. Just seem to feel a little bit more comfortable on the bottom side. And if this lap's drastically slower, then I'll go back to uh, the top. But i got a feeling it's not going to be. Maybe slightly, I don't know, it's it's hard to say. You got uh, trucks everywhere. Looks like we're about a seventh place truck right now. This isn't horrible. Obviously not as good as where I qualified, but we are dropping a little bit to the fifteen and the eighteen now. Well, it seems like we're catching up to the 4, because he was 2.5 ahead at one point. We're working lap 40, so we'll be halfway done this time by. So at least we're starting to settle into a nice green flag run. Fourteen had an issue, he's falling back now. Push there out of turn four. Pulling away slightly from the three. Looks like the 14's really got some issues. He's falling back. 15's going to work by him or try to work underneath him. Going back into turn number three. 18's already worked by him. As well as the four. We are 14 settled back in, so we caught up to the 15 a little bit, chopped off out of 10th or 2. 14 starting to get the run back on the 18, continuing, we pulled a couple tenths on the 3 and now that's kind of stabilized as well. Overdriving turn 3 there, 14's breaking off to head to pit road. I think we're going to stay out and try to minimize the laps the set of tires. See if with people starting green flag stops, if the caution does come out, then we can pit under caution. 15 to the 4, gonna run side by side into 3. Four is falling back again. continuing to stay out. You expect those guys to go longer since they pitted under that second caution. The force falling back a lot more than I thought he would. And it's not like he can fuel save enough to make it all the way. Might bump the tape up a couple more percent. Run on the four. Looks like the four might have some right side damage. Work the outside here through one and two. Try to get the run off of two, clear them. Like that. Should put us back to fifth. Like I said, we'll shoot for a top five if we can. One's gonna make his way onto pit road. Seven's also on pit road. Should probably start thinking about it. So we're good to go the rest of the way. It seems like it's spread out enough. 
pulling away from the forest, so it gives us a bit of a gap behind to not have to worry about somebody running us over. The 16 coming up. Almost overshoot it, spin it around, try not to bring out the caution. Terrible pit entry, caused issues for the four. Fortunately, gave up so much time there, just got on way, way too late, way too late to the brakes. So, really got to work on pit stops. We'll take it, we're going to fall back quite a bit. We'll do what we can to make it up, hopefully not fall out of the top ten. Box now. Unfortunately, zero X is not happening, but that's okay. Grab our fuel and our tires. Get back out there. See, the three also came on. Three gets by us. Car approaching. Six also got by us. So we'll try to do what we can to make back up. Hopefully we can stay green the rest of the way to let it cycle through. Looks like the 11 is coming in hot. We should be able to pull away from him with the fresher tires. Lap down right now to the leaders, but they have yet to pit. We're going to be on 48. 32 left in the race. Score is 17th right now. I th think we are 15th. It's just going to be about trying to work through the field as quickly as we can. Hope that we can at least get back on the lead lap if the caution is going to come out. start picking up a few spots as people come into pit road. Might have still easily dropped myself out of the top 10 though, which is frustrating. All because I had a terrible pit entry. That's also what got me that 4x. Leaders on the pit road now. We're still 8 tenths back from the 6. Six ahead is the only one for a position for a little bit. The 16 and the 31 are laps down. Just gonna stay to the high side here in three and four, try to clear them. Trying to get the draft off the six. Leaders just ahead as well, so. Right now, this is a battle for the lucky dog, if a caution were to come out. Gain in on the six. So if we gain on the six, get by him, regardless of what happens with the 12. But we should be able to get by the 12, get back on the lead lap. Not have to worry about if a caution comes out. Looks like the 12's got some left side damage as well. Right side. Clear him, so it puts us back on the lead lap. Still gaining on the six. Trying to hustle the truck right as best of a run as I can. Six is going to try to throw the block. Seventeen slow the up ahead. Where is he going to go? He's going to go all the way to the bottom. It'll actually work out for me. Clear him. Six is trying to get a run back on us. Should be able to start pulling away from him. We're three seconds back of the 23 and the 28, though. That's my top 10 spot. So you can see how many spots I lost by that terrible pit entry. Two 
two and a half at the line in this one e three. Seventeen to go. Just trying to grind for a top ten if I can. Six isn't going to be a worry, it looks like. We might have lost a little bit of time to the 23. And even look at my tires, I'm not really worried about them at the moment. Bigger issues. Just the hope that we can stay green and I can have my shot. 23 and the 28 to try to grind back a top 10. Oh, looks like we should get there with the 25 on pit road. That'll put us in the 10th now. But we'll keep pushing for more spots. You can see how far ahead of the 3 is now. I believe that's the 3 in the middle of 3 and 4. We are closing up on the 23 and the 28 though. Slightly pulling away from the six. Fourteen to go. One point six to the twenty-three. One point zero back to the six. The Sixteen is slow up ahead. Let's see if he's gonna stay low. Our he does. We'll work around him. Lift since that was not a great entry into three and four. Kind of hit the 16 at the worst spot there. Still gaining on the 23. Got two lap cars up here to work by. It's 32 in the 25. Trying to get to the inside here. It's pulled away from the 23. We've still technically gained slightly on him. Although not much. I don't know if we're going to get to them with 12 laps to go, but we'll do what we can to get after the 23. 12's up ahead after making his pit stop. Johnston. That's the 14 slow up ahead. That is the 29 that is slow on the high side. So we're actually going to go three wide here through the middle of one and two. Get by the 23. Gets us eighth. Or ninth, excuse me. 17's to our outside. He's lap down. 25's also lap down. 1.5 back of the 28. We're going to have 10 to go. We're going to be needing to gain probably two tenths a lap to get to the 28 before the end of the race. Doesn't look like we're getting any time on the 28 right now. Truck's tightening up a little bit, so I got a lift. Side of the corner. Really big slide there through three and four. Just scrubbed off all the speed. Needed to lift a bit more that time. Actually lost a tenth to the 28, so. Keep digging though. to go this time by probably went a bit too far down on the tape since we are staying clear but I'd rather be under lose a little bit not have to worry about I'm trying to cool the engine at this point probably should be ducking on the apron as well four ends up on the pit road so not many trucks left on the lead lap 28 
continuing to pull away a little bit, but we're also pulling away from the 23, so... Looks like it's going to be an 8th place finish. I think we had a top 5 truck. I think I really did, and I just completely blew the pit entry. So, green flag stops. Something to throw on the list to work on. Seven to go. Although I can't really be too upset with a eighth place finish. It is better than where I'm supposed to finish. Twenty-eight still working the inside. Twenty-five on the outside. I don't think we have anybody else for a position that's falling back through the field. Everybody up ahead is all lap trucks. Yeah, you can see how far the three was. That's how big of a difference that pit stop made. Hit the 16 again, basically, on the entry into three. It's almost the exact same spot I hit on the first time. And we're continuing to hold even with the uh, 28, so five laps to go. I hate that I threw a top five away with the potential for a top five with very, very, very poor pit road execution. Also affected a couple of guys' races with that. I got myself 4x, but lessons learned. And if that's the only mistake I make, I guess I can uh, be somewhat happy with that. Do a little better. I was also wrong. I was thinking we were running 70 laps for some reason, so 13 to go this time by, not 3 to go. So I guess that gives us some possible hope for the 28, although I still think it's going to be really tough. So we're again, going to need to be gaining quite a bit more. And we're basically just running even with them. Truck's been pretty well balanced though. Gets a little bit kind of pushy in the center and gets loose off, but it has been fairly balanced. 23 continues to fall back. Six worked by him. But six is almost three seconds back, so no pressure from behind. I think if we would have had, you know, another instead of 12 to go, if we had like 25 or 30 to go, or was another full fuel run. We might be able to get to the 28, although that just changed everything. That just changed everything. Ooh, I think we're going to come in. I think we are likely going to come in. Don't think we're going to take fuel. I think we're going to take four tires, and I think we're going to kick the tape back up to where it was. We're just going to go for it. Might even go a little bit higher on the tape. Open. Might go like 70. <laughs> so we're going to have like probably 7 or 8 to go when we get the green. That's This is going to make things fun. This is going to make things really fun. Not gonna overshoot Watch it this time. Box in sixteen hundred and twenty feet. Well, we got our shot potentially at a top five. It's gonna be tough, but we'll do what we can for it. Box now. I don't know if I'm going to get out in front of anybody, but we'll try to do what we can. I feel comfortable taking two tires. Of 
looks like we're gonna see where we are. Just behind a 28. Looks like some trucks might have stayed out, so we'll have to see. Whether or not we're gonna gain how far outside of the top 10 we'll be, where we're gonna restart. It's only gonna be 16 or 17 trucks on the lead lap when we go green. We'll see where we end up relining. This might, might have been better to have just stayed under green and not had this late race caution. Trying to keep the engine temps as cool as we can too. Looks like we dropped a spot. Somebody, I don't, we might have lost a spot on pit road, but I think somebody either took two tires or they stayed out. Unfortunately, gonna be restarting the outside, which is not where I want to be. We, not that we're gonna use it, but we've got one set of tires left if we get another caution and cause a green white checker. No idea where I'm gonna stand in terms of pace in relation to everybody, but we're going to go after it. These spots out of the top five. Redemption got the possibility of it. We're going to dig hard. It's going to be fun. I don't know anything about 24, the 22, the 23 behind to know if they're they're going to be quicker than us or not. Looks like we are going to be going green with seven to go, like I thought. I know I'm good on fuel, even if we have a green white checker, so I'm not worried about that. One thing right, get lined up on the outside. The Temps time. are going to be what they're going to be. I think we should be able to hang on to the motor. It'll blow right at the end if it does. Not, not really worried about it. Wanted the extra bit of downforce. Well, is the speed. You're gonna have the seven restarting as your leader. One's gonna be the outside, and you got the 18, the three, 15, 14. We're gonna have the 28's gonna be our inside. Yeah, this is gonna be a fun restart. Try to get some heat into these tires. Because we're gonna be driving as hard as we can. I'm still gonna have to lift with this being in the dirty air, but. I'm going to be giving this all I can. Alright, get ready to go in case 7 wants to go early. Seven's off and rolling. A little bit better restart than the 28. Inside, so important to have, but we got the 15 to our inside right now. 14's just ahead, and we get another caution. Well, no reason to come in now. This sucks. I wish we would have had more laps. I think the four is going to get his lap back. Oh, uh, you're definitely going to see an even more interesting finish. But at least, nobody in front pits. We're going to be restarting on the inside, so... As long as the 14 gets a decent restart, then we'll have a uh, opportunity to try to pick up another spot or two. Uh, I think we're probably going to be restarting with two to go. So we'll have one shot to finish it under scheduled distance. We got such a good start, too. We got such a good start. Uh, we had such a good start. I hate that. But, trying to recover from that blown pit stop. Got the possibility to do it. Definitely not worried about fuel at this point. 
mean, you got five to go. Assuming we don't go anywhere, we got more than enough. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about fuel at all. Obviously, this is helping really solidify the engine temps. I probably could have gone even higher on the grill tape and have been okay, but I didn't know we were going to get a caution on <laughs> not even halfway down the back stretch. He's gonna get his lap back, so where's that gonna put the four? Four's still gonna be a lap down, so we'll have 16 on the lead lap with the 30 now. Get a green white checker, we could possibly have another truck or two on the lead lap. Even if I can pick up, like if I can get a decent restart, get by the 15, and then, you know, have the race either finish under caution or whatever, I could. I could be happy with a sixth place finish. Just would love to get to fifth. That way, if open. we finish under green, then you know we grab the top five. And if we do get a caution for a green white checker, we're back on that inside line. Because that inside line is, if, as long as it gets that the restart, that inside line is just so, so valuable. Taking the shortest way around the track with limited power is it's just such a huge deal. So big. See if we get the two to go this time. We do. So we're gonna be. We're under caution. It's closed. Yeah, two to go. We get it. So it's gonna be like a green white checker, just still in the scheduled distance. That's three times. But I mean, I guess it would have been seventh likely without it, seventh or eighth. So we got a bit of a break. You know, able to grab one spot so far. Oh, it looks like we are scored a six. Sorry, I was wrong. So we'll be on the outside. Yeah. So not where I wanted to be. Picked up two spots off the last restart. So. I lied, I thought we were on the inside. No, we are 7th. Yeah. No, I can't count. Ignore me and my, my stupidity there. We are on the inside. Yeah, that was right before, so. A couple spots away from that top 5, we'll try to do what we can. Race cars coming in this lap. Lined up on the inside behind the 14. I have the 18, the 3, and the 15 going to be on the outside. 28 is also going to be directly to our outside. You got the 7, the 1, the 14 on the inside line in front of us. We know the 7 and the 1 are pretty quick. 18s seem to be pretty quick. 3 is also decent, so I really feel like, you know, I'm probably running for 5th at best. Running with the 14 and the 15, but I'm trying to do what we can last minute scrub in to try to get the heat back into the tires since you've only got two laps to get it done. It's like qualifying. This is why I could have gone probably 100% on the tape and been fine. But no big deal. Did not know we'd have another one so quickly. I think the 7's still likely going to wait, but I'm going to be ready for anything from a very quick restart to him waiting all the way till the green flag's thrown. It's like the 14's laying back from the one a little bit. There was the early start, we got caught sleeping. He's going to try to get up through the gears. 28's going to be on the outside trying to clear us. Yeah, terrible restart on my part. We're going to try to take advantage of the inside line though, see if we can get back by the 28. Try to get the run on the 15 as well. Work to the inside. Keep it together, hold your line. He's still there. Let's see if we can get inside of the 15 off of turn four. He's pushing on the 14. We're going to the apron. 18's down on the apron. One's up high. Working to the inside of the 14. Back into one. On the white flag, it's going to end right here. 14 still to our outside. 
Trying to get the draft off the 15 as much as I can. Can't tell the 14 got into the wall. Pushes up high, 14 goes around. No caution yet. I think we're gonna finish sixth. And we bring it home in six, yeah. So, just just outside of the top five. I, I don't know if I would have gotten a better restart if it would have made any difference, but I gave it the best run I could. Picked up a spot, can't be too upset about that. You know, I don't know, who knows if I don't screw up the pit road entrance. Who knows where we are, but that was by far an exciting finish. Probably one of the better green-white checkers I've, well, you know, unofficial green-white checker that I've driven, so. No reason to look at the tires, obviously. You know, I pushed hard, so. A couple spots off of where we finished, or qualified, but at least able to uh, recover, put it back in the top 10, almost top 5. Take a look at the start. Go through all the incidents. Let's see that wreck that happened right off the bat, too. View from behind. All right. So here's the 22. He gets into the wall with a little bit of a wall drag. 31 just gets loose on his own, gets into the eight, sends him all the way up. And that's what creates the wreck. So it, it's so easy when you're in this dirty air that it just changes it, and the truck just gets loose on you on the inside. I've I've had it at other tracks not just here at kansas uh it was something i was kind of trying to be aware of i even got tripped up by a little bit just able to catch it enough lift kind of recorrect the truck so you can see the eight saves it but he's so slow or the the 31 saved it but he was so slow that the eight got in the back of him so as soon as that happened it sent him back up the track he gets into the five that's going to send the five back down the track kind of going this at slow speed to See this, he gets right into the six, spins him around, and the two's got absolutely nowhere to go. 30, or the eight's still trying to hang on to it. He's sliding on the apron. Five's coming back down. Two's going to continue to help the 31 around. One gets a little bit of right side damage out of it. Might even have been that code there. 31 gets into somebody. 21's going to get it. Here comes the 25, locking it up. He's going to slide. Let's go take a look up ahead at the 31 getting contact again. Or excuse me, this is where the 17 gets it, so let's follow the 17 and the 13 into this. All right, so you can see the 31 spinning back down the track. The two gets contact with the left rear tire that sends him around. 17's already kind of sliding, locking up, trying to avoid it. 31 just comes down. That code, but they would have been hitting there. 13's pushing on the inside of the 17 again. They're both into the slide. They've got nowhere to go. So they go spinning around. 13's even blinking. 26 may or may not have gotten anything out of that 17's part there. So that's what brought out that first caution. So we get the restart. 6 just gets into the 30. So the 30 expects, I think the 30 was honestly expecting the 6 to come down to the apron. 6 isn't isn't required to do that, so that's just the 30 not clearing himself in my opinion. I don't think that's on the 6. That's just all on the 30 not clearing himself. That's what created that big gap. I didn't catch that. Did not look back and see that. I was so focused on the restart that I didn't see that in the mirror. That's what created that big gap behind us, so I again, I don't think the 6 did anything wrong. You can tell me if you think he did something wrong. 27's getting a little loose here. He's gonna just barely grab the wall. 12 is gonna get the wall going into that coat, if anything, into the three. 26 gonna blow up. That's what that was. Four was battling with the 23. Net code slash tiny wall drag. Under caution. No idea what's going on with the 6 there. Just 17 going to push up off of 2. Net code. 
131. I had to check up before it got loose on the inside. 17 again. That time he actually gets the wall. 12. Ooh, okay, so it looked like he was starting to turn down on the 30, but I think the 30 ends up getting the apron. Yeah, 30 gets the apron. It kind of shoots him up into the 12. Although the 12 definitely was going to pinch down on him, possibly make contact. 17 with a little white wall drag. 29's behind the 31. Gets loose, can't lift in time. Not worried about the 8. He's just dragging. There's the 12. I see a lot of wall hits. Even that code looks like. 16 working the outside of the 23. 23 comes up the track. 16 kind of continued the line. Let's see. 16's getting the run on the outside. He kind of turns down the track, but at the same time, the 23's coming up. So, bit of a racing deal kind of on the 23 for thinking that the 16 wasn't going to quite be there. 32 just gets into the wall. 12's going to get the wall. 12's going to get the wall. 1's going to get the wall out of 2. Now 14 got loose, and that's what kicked the 1 all the way down. That's what I saw. Good save by the one. Really good save by the one. 14 got loose. I don't know if it net coded the one or if it just scared him, but. Good again. 12. Just gets right into the back of the 22. Gets the 22 loose. 22 does a good job keeping it going straight. 14. It's gonna drag the wall out of two. It's gonna allow the one in the four by. It's like the four. Four is going to get loose out of two, probably push loose. Gets into it, 17, 17, 17, 8. All right, here's the deal with me on pit road. So let's watch this. How bad I was getting on pit road. So yeah, I just locked it up way too late trying to save it. And the four, how does the four get into it? Does he do the same thing as me? So I'm guessing he's coming to pit road. Yeah, he just stopped sooner. He overshot it too. Okay, so I had nothing to do with the four. All right, that makes me feel a little better. And then I spin around three clears us. No problem. I just pulled out in front of the six. I should have let the six go. That's on me for trying to get a turnaround. Barely swiped a six. So that was a stupid move on my part for, for trying to turn around. I tried to spin the tires a little bit quicker and get it to spin around. It just didn't didn't get on the throttle well. So 100% my fault there, both for, obviously, the lockup. But should have just let the 6 by and then had all the room to do it. So definitely something I need to change immediately. That's not AO. We'll work on it. That's like, that gets fixed now. You don't do that. 16 slow. 31 just gets in the back of the 16. Just the 25. And I feel like you're going to see a bunch of this stuff until we get to that. What brought out the caution. 13's loose there. 11's going to get the run. Just want to see what brought out the last caution. 14's loose. We get momentary three wide as the 3 and the 18 work by him. 29 blows up. Yeah, one truck spinning up ahead off the grass. That was the 16. It's 24 gonna park, 29 gonna park it, and that brings out the caution. Let's see, because he's blown up. That's gonna suck if that's what brought out the caution. Oh, again, it technically benefited us because I think we were running seventh. Yeah, it looks like that's what the caution was for. 31 spins under caution. Six is trying to get the run on the outside. We're going three wide. He gets into the wall. Comes down into the 12. They spin. All right, there's what your quick caution was. Wow. Eight goes for a tumble. 13 got on top of the six. We got one blowing up ahead. I want to watch that again. That's just, yeah. All right, so the six was coming in from behind trying to catch up the field. So he's coming in with a big head of steam. He jumps to the outside of the seven. Eight, so we're trying to get the run behind the 19. 19 just 
pushes up into the six, it stalls the six out, and the six comes back down. Just kind of turns down on the twelve. Although the twelve didn't, I, I think the six probably expected the twelve to turn in a little bit deeper and head more towards the, the first seam, and he didn't. So that's where he got the twelve, which the twelve then gets down into the eight. Eight's going to come back up the track. Twelve's going to get held again by the seventeen. Six is also going to get the 27. See the 12 going into the wall. Eight's getting pushed up and over by the 12. 13 is just riding up the door of the six. And you're watching them flip around. So yeah, that's what brought out our last caution. And then we get the run here. 14 just gets loose. In front of the 28 loses it. That's what gave us the big break. Ooh, 22 comes piling in. 25 also gets piled into that. 17 and evolved in another one. Let's uh, let's see what happened to the uh, 28 in that one. Tough break for the 28. I don't really know where he could have gone. 14 just drove it in too deep. You know, didn't lift enough and got loose. Looks like the 28 ends up being okay. Everything else happens behind him. Yeah, he toes. So, I think that's basically going to be it. Uh, let's take a look at the results. Hopefully they should be fairly positive. I don't know how much safety rating we're going to gain, but... Oh, sorry, that puts us on the practice. I'll grab the, uh, the race results. There we go. Uh, top split of three, like I thought. 2791 strength field. Like I said, pretty weak. Just gets the time slot that I was running. Uh, four caution, 15 laps. Tiny bit of a safety rating gain, 0.08, and somewhat of a decent high rating gain, 59. So we're just under 3,200. And, uh, you know, keep it this way. Keep it clean. Uh, should easily be able to get to, uh, maybe get to 3.0 before, or 4.0 after the B open. Otherwise, you know, should, well, be able to keep it over 3.0. Um, lap time's hard to judge. You know, we all were in our fastest laps at the end when we were pushing it. So, um, I, hard to say if I actually had a top five truck. If I had not blown the uh, pit stop, it's really hard to say where I would have cycled out. Because uh, obviously the three jumped us by a landslide had we not had that caution come out. Was actually, those those two cautions were pretty fortunate. I, I don't know if I would have been able to gain an, uh, another spot over sixth uh, had we not had that that one right off the restart of the, the second to last restart. So it's hard to say how that would have worked out that way. But uh, I definitely think the caution, you know, overall, both of them benefited me because I had no shot at any better than I think seventh. And, uh, you know, even that was going to be kind of pushing it. So, um, pretty fortunate break there. I will, uh, I'll take it. It's not, you know, by no means my best. I've obviously got a lot to work on in terms of the, uh, pit road and trees and all that, but, you know, I tried to, try to put that behind me, try to settle back down, rebound and, uh, and you know, try to grind back that way. So to finish four spots ahead of where I was supposed to finish. Yeah. I was a couple off where I qualified, but you know, not bad that way. So, uh, We'll take it. Love to hear from you guys. Uh, let me know how you guys like to practice pit road and what you like to do to try to, to figure out the points to, to optimize, you know, the most speed in into pit road without screwing up the uh, the braking like I did and locking it up. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. So till the next one, I hope all your laps are fast, your races are clean, and your finishes are good. Thanks for watching.